Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's put it all together. We're going to calculate the magnification of a microscope. And of course, we're going to use the exact method, keeping in mind that we can either have relaxed viewing or strained viewing, which affects the magnification of the eyepiece. So we have the magnification of the microscope being the product of the magnification of the objective and the magnification of the eyepiece and the magnification of the objective, we found the general equation in the previous video, which is equal to this. All right, so let's first do relaxed viewing. So the magnification is equal to the negative of the length of the microscope minus the focal length of the objective minus the focal length of the eyepiece, all divided by the focal length of the objective. And we're going to multiply that times 25 centimeters divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. And we have some numbers that we use as an example. So this is equal to minus 20 minus the focal length of the objective, which is two, minus the focal length of the eyepiece, which is four, and the whole thing divided by two. And then we're going to multiply this times 25 divided by the focal length of the eyepiece, which is four. And so this is equal to that's 14 divided by two. Well, actually we don't need a calculator for that. That would be minus seven for the magnification of the objective and 25 divided by four, that would be uh, 6.25. And so seven times 6.25, we get minus, let's just round it off to approximately to minus 44. So that's the magnification of the microscope using relaxed viewing. How about using strained viewing. Again, the magnification is equal to minus, and I use parentheses, the length of the microscope minus the focal length of the objective minus the focal length of the eyepiece, all divided by the focal length of the objective. So that would be for the objective lens times 25 centimeters divided by the focal length of the eyepiece plus one. So everything else will be the same. So this is going to be equal to minus 20 minus 2 minus 4 divided by 2 and then we're going to multiply this times 25 divided by 4 plus 1 so in this case this is the same for here that's 14 divided by 2 that's a minus 7 multiply it times 6.25 plus 1 because that's due to the strain viewing so now we have 7 times 7.25 and we get approximately equal to minus 51. So you can see that the magnification of the microscope depends upon how you look to the microscope from a relaxed viewing magnification of minus 44 to a strained viewing magnification of minus 51. And that is how it's done. Is it always at the end where you have plus 1? Yes. Yeah, so for the magnifying glass, if you have strain viewing, it's always plus one. That's why we did that one video where it shows the general equation. So, yep, it works out to always be plus one.